Hello students. So today we are going to go for the last topic of our circuit analysis using Laplace transform. And that is when our differential equation is given and we have to find out the value of the function. And the transfer function is given, you are given with the transfer function, you are given with the input that you are uh, provided with a step input or ramp input and you have to find out the output. So let's start. So students, we are here with the last topic of your Laplace transform and how we are going to learn that how your this Laplace transform helps you in solving your differential equation and also when the transfer function is given. So first let's understand that what is a transfer function? You all have learned about the differential equation. They are of the form of d square y upon dt square plus dy by dt plus yt equals to some constant, let's say five, and then you have to find out the value. So now we have to first learn about transfer function so that we can start with both of these parts. So basically when we talk about your transfer function, it is nothing but sometimes it is shown as hs or sometimes it is shown as gs you can use both of these notations and it is equals to ys upon xs where ys is the laplace transform of output to laplace transform of input when all initial conditions are zero so in this, all initial conditions are considered to be zero. And this is how you get your transfer function. Now, the very first thing that you should remember is, I will just start with your this thing only, that if your HS is given like YS upon XS, and you are given the transfer function in the form of, let's say, S square plus 2S, something like that, and you are given that the input is step find the value of yt. So the very first step that you should do is take your this excess towards this side. So that means it will be equal to excess upon the value that uh, the transfer function that was given. So here it will get removed from here. And after that, you all know that you have to go with the partial fractions. And then by, by taking inverse Laplace transform, you will of this function, total function, you are going to get the value of your yt. But before going on to that, you must know that your excess value, if your input is given as step, then the value of your xt is equal to one, while the value of xs will be equal to one upon s. If your input is given as ramp, then the value of your xt will be equal to t, while the value of xs will be equal to t square, sorry, one upon s square. So one upon s square. So this is how you have to put the values of your x's. So let's start with our this portion first. So here we come on to our numerical number one on transfer function in which you people are given with your transfer function as one upon s plus one. And you have to solve your two parts. First is when the input is impulse. First thing that you should know is the value of Laplace transform of impulse function is always equals to one. And the second thing that you all should do in the very first step is whenever you are given with the XT, you have to just write down the value of XS here. So you all know the value of e raised to power minus 2T, it will be equal to S plus 2. Okay, so now we are going to write down over this function. This is equals to YS upon XS equals to 1 upon S plus 1. So now we are going to take our excess towards this side. So this will be equal to xs upon s plus one. So now for the very first part, so this is the common part to all these two parts that we have discussed above. So now for the first part, the value of your xs will be equal to one only. And so you need to just take the inverse Laplace transform of your this value that will give you the value e raised to the power of minus t. So this is the value of your yt. 
that is the output that is very simple so now for the second part you have to go again for the value of x as that is coming out to be s plus 1 is already in the denominator and the value of x as is 1 plus s plus 2 1 upon s plus 2 so now you have to go with the partial fractions and you all know how to solve them right so now you have to give me the value of a and b that is going to come out to be a equals to 1 and b is coming out to be equal to minus 1. So we are going to put 1 upon s plus 1 minus 1 upon s plus 2 and then we are going to take the inverse Laplace transform. So here I am going to apply the value. So here it will be e raised to power minus t minus e raised to the power of minus 2t. This is the value coming of my yt. So this is how you solve the numericals based on your transfer functions when the transfer function of a system is given. So let's uh, start our next numerical. So now you are given with the next numerical, you are given with the transfer function as hs equals to s square plus 3s plus 5 upon s plus 1 into s plus 2. And you are given with the input as xt equals to e raised to power of minus 3t. You have to find the response of this system hs. Response means that you require the value of your yt. So that means for hs, you are going to write it again as ys upon xs equals to s squared plus 3s plus 5 divided by s plus 1 into s plus 2. Here I told you that whenever you are provided with xt, you always have to write the value of xs that gives you the value s plus 3 here. So now you are going to take your xs towards this side and that is going to give you the value x as multiplied by your whole of this transfer function. This whole will come here. Now I'm going to replace my x as with the value s plus 3 in the denominator. So this whole will become equal to s square plus 3s plus 5 divided by s plus 1 into s plus 2 into s plus 3. So you all know now that you are going to get your 3 residues a b and c using partial fractions you are going to give me the values of these a b and c so after finding the value of a we are getting a value 3 by 2 here the value of b will come out to be minus 3 and the value of c will come out to be 5 by 2 so after getting the values of a b and c we are going to, this is the value of ys. So now we are going to apply our inverse Laplace transform because they all are in the simple forms. So my yt will be equal to 3 by 2 e raised to the power of minus t minus 3 e raised to the power of minus 2t and plus 5 by 2 e raised to the power of minus 3t. So this is how we do our numericals based on our transfer function. Only the main thing you should remember is whenever hs is given you write it in this form and whenever you write it in this form you take your xs towards this side as the numerator you solve the value of xt to make it as xs and you put the value of xs here and then you go with your partial fractions so now let's start the numerical on differential equations so now we come on to your next numerical based on your differential equations. You are given with this differential equation as d square y by dt square plus 3 dy by dt plus 2y equals to 5 of ut, where this ut stands for the step input. And your initial conditions are given as y0 as minus 1 and y derivative of 0 as 2. You have to find the value of yt using your Laplace transform method. Before we start with this, you all know that the value of dy by dt is equal to the Laplace transform of dy by dt is equal to s of ys minus y0. But we have not discussed till now the value of d square by dt squares Laplace transform. So you all must write it down in your notebooks 
that whenever there is a square term of your differential, then you have to go with the square term of your S square as well. So it will be now your S square of Ys minus S of I zero. So the powers decrease in the same way because here it was one power was one. So here it was also one and then there was no term of S. Here the power is two. So here again, the power is two, then it will be one and then it will not be there. But here it will be derivative of this stands for the di by dt of zero. So this thing we are going to put now in our this place. So let's start the numerical now. So now I am going to take the Laplace transform of my this equation. So this will be equal to S square of Ys minus S of Y zero minus Y derivative of zero plus now I'm going to open my this term using my Laplace transform. This one is finished. This D square Y by DT square is finished with three terms. So next I come on to three S Ys minus three of Y zero. So now I come on to this term that will be simply two into ys and this whole will be equal to 5 upon s so now i am going to put the values that are given to me so here i am going to replace my y0 with minus 1 so this will be equal to plus 1 then my this value is given to be 2 so this will be equal to minus 2 then 3s ys then my 3y0 will be equal to minus 1. So this will be equal to 3 only. And the last one is 2ys equals to 5 upon s. Now you all know that we have to assemble the ys terms at one side and take the constants towards the other side. So here you can see that 3 minus 2 will be equal to plus 1 only. So now we will be taking your ys common from these terms. So it will be equal to s square plus 3s plus 2 towards this side plus s plus 1 equal to 5 upon s. So that means taking your this thing towards that side will make it to be minus s minus 1. So I'm going to rub it from here. So just take the LCM here it will be equal to minus of s square minus s plus 5 divided by s here. So now by s will be equal to minus s square minus s plus 5 divided by s into s square plus 3s plus 2. And you all know what you have to do. Again, you have to go with your partial fractions. So we can directly simplify over this in its factor form. So this will be equal to S plus one into S plus two. So that means the residues will be three. So let me just write it here. It will be equal to A upon S plus B upon S plus one plus C upon S plus two. So now taking the value of s as 0, then minus 1, then minus 2 in our this equation, we are going to get the value of a as 5 by 2, b as minus 5, and c as 3 by 2. And then we have to take the inverse Laplace transform that will be giving me the value of my yt as 5 by 2, then minus 5 e raised to the power of minus t, and then 5 by 2 e raised to the power of minus 2t. So this is how we solve our differential equation numericals. Hopefully, you all have understood it well. So that's all for now. Thank you so much.